Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training. From student pilots taking their very first flights to the new commercial pilot getting ready to take on their first flying gigs, as well as the amazing industry built around all this. No segment is more important to the growth of the aviation world than the flight training community. Coming up on this week's episode, Texarkana District students buy Vans kit, Sunset F-15C Eagle Weapons School takes a bow at Nellis AFB, and Dixon updates commercial balloon pilot requirements. Hi, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get started. The Texarkana Independent School District has revealed a new partnership with Tango Flight, a 501c3 nonprofit corporation aimed at fostering STEM participation. The program will get students experience in building a Vans RV-12IS. Tango Flight is an educational charity with its own turnkey program made alongside my alma mater, Wichita State University, and the Airbus Foundation. The curriculum provides students with the fundamental technical and mechanical skills they need to build their own LSA, as well as a strong mechanical, electrical, and aerospace engineering foundation. Texarkana appears to be the second school district to take advantage of their offerings, with other Texas native Georgetown ISD beginning their project in 2016. That completed aircraft was sold off to fund the next kit, with additional fundraising expanding the program to even more local schools. Administrators find it a hard offering to pass up, providing real-world experience and manufacturing knowledge at a fairly low price point. Georgetown defrayed their approximately $75,000 cost with student fundraising. Texarkana ISD Superintendent Dr. Doug Brubaker said, quote, As a district with a strong, innovative spirit, We are thrilled to introduce yet another STEM opportunity that sets us apart, promotes career exploration, and gives our students a leg up on their futures, end quote. After the break, learn about how NASA is including college students in its aeronautical research. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter but interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. NASA's program to leverage university assistance for sustainable aviation has resulted in another boon to select schools chosen under the University Leadership Initiative, or ULI. The program allows NASA to outsource some of its suitable aeronautical research goals and provide students with real-world lab experience in solving realistic, functioning problems. A key function of the program is to integrate a diverse membership in the research teams, integrating a wider variety of student origins, says ULI project manager Kushik Dada. The COVID-19 changes and their associated after effects have been a mixed bag for aviation. Those prepared to capitalize on the changes have seen bountiful opportunities to expand, with private and business aviation seeing expansions and growth rarely seen as passengers tire of the hassles imposed on airline travel. Strategic investment firm BRIFO opened the year with a brief look at the state of the market. With 2020's rapid lockdowns by fiat, some remain unprepared for the ensuing changes, assuming that the drop in travel was organic and would take time to return to its 2019 levels. Kelowna Flightcraft pilots recently announced they have ratified a tentative agreement with the company on a four-year contract retroactive to April 2021. With nearly 92% of eligible pilots participating, 73% voted to ratify the agreement. 
The pilots will now move forward with contract enhancements on a number of key issues, including increasing wages, improved scheduling rules, vacation bidding, and uniform allowances. A new charitable trust has been established in the UK to improve the overall state of UK aviation, made to represent the interests of recreational, sport, and private flight activities. The Airspace for All Trust will work with the UK's airspace modernization strategy and their change proposals, specifically through three primary areas of focus. The trust will aim to improve the safety and efficiency of general aviation by improving procedures, facilities, equipment, and regulatory policies in use today. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. The United States Air Force is continuing to modernize its future fighter force, and part of that evolution includes the sunsetting of the F-15C Eagle Division of the United States Air Force Weapons School Weapons Instructor Course. The single-seat F-15C Eagle entered the U.S. Air Force inventory in 1979, and weapons officers have been trained on the aircraft's tactics at the Weapons School at Nellis Air Force Base since 1978. Those years of tradition came to an end December 8th as the last cadre of students and instructors flew the final defensive counter-air vulnerability for Weapons Instructor Course 21B. Major Rodolfo Cruz is the Director of Operations for the 433rd Weapons Squadron and one of the last five WIC instructors for the F-15C. He graduated as part of Class 18A and became an instructor in 2019. Cruz said, I love the F-15C. We always brag about the record of 104-0, and that is predominantly based on the fact that we have the air superiority fighter. I don't want it to die, but we have to move on, because if we continue to rest on our laurels, it's going to make the fight that much harder for us, end quote. After these messages, hear about updated commercial balloon pilot requirements. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. FAA Administrator Steve Dixon addressed the commercial balloon industry in a short video statement, requesting public comments on the agency's proposed rules on medical certification. If finalized, the change would see that pilots operating a hot air balloon for hire would be required to hold second-class medical certificates, much like their counterparts in fixed or rotary wing aircraft. The first proposed rule would result in the removal of an exemption that has allowed commercial balloon operators to operate without holding an FAA medical certificate. And in 2018, Congress mandated that change, which started a countdown clock to the second class medical rule. Now, it's hard to disagree with their logic. The performance demands on a commercial balloon pilot and a powered aircraft pilot are very similar. Commercial pilots must be physically and mentally fit to operate their aircraft, powered or unpowered. And the second class medical is a solid starting point to make sure that that's the case. Now that's the proposed rule as written, but we are always willing to listen and you have our ear right now as we go through the public comment period. Comments need to be submitted before the January 18th, 2022 deadline. Dixon assured commenters that his agency will read through and review each one submitted. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.